I'm delighted to welcome Susanna Dutra into studio. You're a recent Vanier College graduate. Yes. You graduated in architectural technology. You raised two daughters and decided, I want to pursue my passion. Your passion was construction? Well, I've always liked construction. I've always liked uh, architecture, but really, I really like renovating. Renovate. My dad used to renovate all the time, and I love the renovating aspect. I like putting down walls and building them up again. That's what I really like. Oh, the, yeah? Yeah, the renovating aspect. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't know, <laughs> well, I don't know a lot of women who, who like that, but there <laughs> are women. That, yeah. You, yeah. Uh, and it's certainly non-traditional, right. and uh, you were actually recognized. We have a picture of you, I think, getting uh, the Hats Off right. Award from the provincial government. Uh, tell us what that was like. Well, it was, uh, it's nice to be recognized. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's nice to be recognized. I mean, I went up for this award. My uh, department coordinator encouraged me to apply, and I did. And I, you know, we had to write an essay, and um, uh, the, the college decided to, because you, you have to be chosen by the college to represent the college. And mm -hmm. they, cho they chose me, and I was, I, you know, I was honored. And uh, I went on, and I went to a, a, a committee where you know, that I had to have pass an interview. And there was a jury, and uh, and they chose me, and I was very flattered. <laughs> and then we had, of course, this gala because it's a regional award, and I won for Montreal. Yes. So, what's it like to be a mom and go back to school? It's tough. <laughs> it's tough because you have to always juggle your, uh, you know. I mean, I, I have to be a mom, I have to be a wife, I have to be a student. So, time management is uh, really the challenge. You know, you have to, you know, I have to help my kids with their own homework. You know, and you have to get dinner started and everything else. And then, you know, by the time I it's I get down to sit down to do my homework, it's like nine o'clock in the evening sometimes. So it's tough, but uh, I loved it. I loved it. I really. I, it was a great, great, great experience. Yeah. Yeah. So you went into architectural technology, but why didn't you do the architectural technology before the family? You know what? Um, this is. You know, this. I'm, the hats off to you is really important for that aspect because I didn't even know because it's it's a it's a career program and you know when I was in school the first time around you know you, you, you're encouraged to be a teacher be a secretary be a nurse you know and these these technical programs are not I didn't even know it existed I think you know I wanted I loved architecture I thought I had to be an architect I, I mean I didn't have the bath skills I didn't have the drawing skills so I said okay I can't go into architecture I didn't even know that this program existed so I think I think we have to sensitize young girls that they can do these, that they can go into techniques. They don't have to go to university. If, you know, if they want to do something that's manual, if that's what they want to do, mm -hmm. it's out there. But I, I don't think they know. So I think CGIPs have a long way to go to, to let the students know, especially the female students, that they can do a technique. They don't have to you know, mm -hmm. go into these you know, med medicine or what you know, yeah. women are traditionally going into now. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people even know that those techniques exist. So, so what's your message to the young female students who are watching now and thinking, oh, I'd love to go into a technical program, but how do I start? They go bang on the door of the CEGEP uh, career well, first advisor, of all, they boom, 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 tell me. Well, first of all, I think the CEGEPs have their role to, to do, but I think that they have to take their math and their science when they're in high school. It's interesting you, me you mentioned that because my oldest is in secondary three. And she has to decide whether she wants to do the, you know, the four, three, six math and the science. Mm -hmm. And she's, she doesn't really like math. And she said, well, I don't really need it. And there, you have to take it because you'll keep your options open. Look what happened to me. I had to go, excuse me, I had to go back and do my math and my physical science before I was even able to do the art tech program. So I had a whole year of prep work before I did my art tech. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to tell my daughter, do it keep your options open because if you don't do it and then you decide oh I want to do something that you know I have to do my math you have to go back and do it mm -hmm. but if you do it right away your options are open you sent us a couple of pictures too of buildings maybe you could tell us sure. what the heck are we looking at okay this is a wood frame building this was in the, the second year we have to do um, we, we receive plans uh, framing plans and we actually have to produce at a scale just the framing plan so this is done with uh, wood frame and uh, we have to actually reproduce the plans and this is what we produced to, for our project wow. and this is our project three this is all done in Revit it's actually a rendering of a building that we designed and it's an office building and it's all done on Revit which is a, a new program from Autodesk that's re slowly replacing AutoCAD oh yeah 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 I read too that uh, oh, this as well what's this this is the gymnasium this is our project four we had to renovate a, that's gymna a real gymnasium or is that a no that's a rendering Oh, it is. It looks yes. like a real no, nice it's a, rendering. Yes, it's a rendering, actually, again, done with Revit. There's even sunlight. Yes. We do a solar study, the whole thing. It's really, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and you, you want to work with somewhere where they have that. That program, Revit? Yeah. Revit. Ideally, I love that program. I just, it, we first started with AutoCAD, and then we learned Revit in, in the end of the second semester. Mm -hmm. 
And when we were, uh, when I was exposed to that program, I said, oh my God, I love this program. Yeah. This is what I want to work with. Oh, yeah. I loved it, honestly. But then you're not tearing down walls and... and, and yes, you are. You can do... You, that's what we were doing that... But last... only on, on a computer or you actually go out in the field and actually whack the wall? Well, it, it depends what I do. If, uh, if, if I could also do site visits, you know, like mm -hmm. if I'm the technician, the technician, uh, we don't design. We just do the plans. Okay. But we also are called sometimes to go on the site visit and make sure that the plants are being respected. So we're on the field too. I'm not actually going to hold the hammer, unfortunately, but <laughs> unfortunately. I'll, I'll be there and making sure that the plants are, you know, yeah. are, are respected. I think it's awesome that you, you went back to school and that you're, yeah. you're, you're going after what you love, yeah. regardless of, you know, whether it's traditional or non traditional yeah. or whatever. Uh, what do your daughters think? Well, I, at first, uh, you know, it's funny. I started my CJ program as my oldest started high school. So we were doing, we were both having this new experience together. So it, it was cool. But I think now I, my daughters see me differently mm -hmm. because I was, you know, I was the caregiver, you know, you know when they would scrape me, they'd come, you know. But when there was homework to do, they'd go see my husband, right? Mm -hmm. But because I was doing all this math and everything, it was, I was, you know, closer to those math problems that my oldest daughter was going through in school. So we were doing them together. So I was no longer just, you know, the caregiver that would just, you know. Move over hubby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that was nice. They had a different perspective on me. I was not no longer the caregiver. I was also, yeah. you know, I could also help them with their homework. So that's Quick word cool. of advice to moms out there who are thinking to go back to school. Do it. <laughs> Uh, that, if I can as do hard it, as it was, as, as hard as, as it time, was, tricky time wise. Uh, yes, and it, it is a challenge. You know, the the uh, you know, uh, it's a challenge. Time management is extremely difficult, but uh, you know. I, my family encouraged me, my daughters thought it was cool, my husband encouraged me, my sisters-in-law encouraged me, and I encourage everyone, if you want to do it, you, sh you really should. I mean, you really should. Congratulations on <laughs> making the so decision much. to go back. Congratulations so on graduating. Congratulations on the Hats Off Award. It's, Thank it's you super so awesome. Much. Thank you and so much. And hopefully you'll be an example to uh, somebody out there. Thank you. Susanna Dutra, a recent graduate of Vanier College uh, in archi architectural technology now, and yeah. you're looking for work? Yes. <laughs> you're looking for work, so.